So it is 65 degrees and raining, which means I can wear a sweater and I'm super happy about it. Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Catherine. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me first impressions. I'm not doing a full face of first impressions. I'm not really a fan of those because I feel like it's really hard to tell how different products are actually working, but I do have a lot of fun new products to try out today. This video is sponsored by my mom. Hi mom. Um, my mom got me a ton of new makeup for my birthday, so thank you mom. I'm really excited to be trying out a lot of these products. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And let's go ahead and get started. So I have already done my eyebrows and put a little bit of eyelid primer on, so we are all ready to go. I'm going to be priming my face with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer today. Y'all thought I bought it, didn't you? Um, no. So I've been hearing really great things about this primer. I watched the Taylor's video on this and I was absolutely blown away by how good it made her skin look. But this is $52 and I'm just not going to drop that kind of money without trying a product first. So basically everyone on YouTube has been losing their mind over this, saying it's the most amazing primer ever. It is supposed to be good for all skin types, helps fill in pores, diminish fine lines, makes your makeup last longer, allegedly helps add some more coverage. So it sounds like a little Wonder Balm sort of thing. Um, their website says that you only need to use a rice size amount of the product. Which, if that's true, the Sephora worker really gave me the hookup with this amount in here. Side note, this smells amazing. I work at a spa and it reminds me of the spa. So I'm just gonna put this on one side of my face because I wanna be able to see if it makes like a difference. I don't buy this rice size amount of product thing. I never buy that. I actually feel like that did make a difference. Like look at this side of my face versus how visible the pores are on this side of my face. I definitely use more than half a rice grain of product, but. I feel like that actually did really, really perfect my skin. Like that extremely diminished my pores. The only product that I think has ever diminished my pores that much has been the Benefit Pore Fessional. But I'm actually impressed with this. Might actually be worth the hype. So I'm gonna go over this with my BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. It's back and forth on what foundation to use over this, but I feel like this is one that has a light enough coverage and a natural enough finish that it'll work well. Like you'll be able to tell if the primer's working well with it. I'm using the Sigma F80. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with how this looks. I have a video review of this foundation up. I'll pop that up on the little cards thingy I always forget where it goes so if you want to compare how this looks with the no primer versus the Tatcha primer you can check that out does anyone else get like irrationally annoyed when you're watching a video and they have foundation on their lips like the entire video. I'm gonna be using these two concealers. This is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and this is my ColourPop No Filter. I like this combo because I couldn't find a perfect shade match for the Too Faced concealer but I really liked the formula and the ColourPop just like nicely lightens it up without me having to use too much of it. So I'm going to be setting my under eye with the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Setting Powder. I got the shade Translucent Light. So I was really excited when this was announced um, and I finally got the chance to pick it up. What I'm hoping is that this will finally be my cruelty free dupe of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and Fair. I've been trying to find one for forever. 
So not gonna lie, the packaging on this is kind of weird. It has this like trampoline mesh-ish thing. This sounds like an exciting product though. This is $29 for 0.87 ounces. It has avocado in it and hyaluronic acid. So I guess avocado is the new thing for makeup. So I just have my dampened sponge and I'm going in real light. This does feel a touch more drying than I expected, but the color actually looks nice. It's not too yellow, which is what I always run into with setting powders. It's not too dark. I'm just gonna do that same concealer and powder combo on my eyelids. I'll be right back. For eyeshadow today, we're gonna be using the Tardis Pro. This is one of the gifts from my mama. It's a very nice palette with some neutral cool tones, neutral warm tones, a few more colorful shades in there. This retails for $49. You get 16 mattes and four shimmers. That's the type of ratio that I like in my eyeshadow palettes. It smells amazing. I think that Tarte's products all smell so good and it's like they're not intended to, like they're not made saying that they're like made to be a certain scent or anything but they all just smell so good does anyone else feel that way she also got me the pinky rose cosmetics bright lights palette so i'm going to be doing a whole separate video with that one because i feel like i need to just have a whole video dedicated to colorful eyeshadow soon since i haven't done that in a while we also have some new brushes to try out from my mom this is the lime crime aquarium brush set this is serving me some like 90s early 2000s limited to aesthetic vibes and i'm here for it i haven't gotten anything from lime crime in so long and i'm really happy that doe deer stepped down as ceo because now I can try out some of their products without feeling guilty. First of all, the packaging on this palette is gorgeous. Like this is probably the most high quality feeling packaging I have out of any of my eyeshadow palettes. And you get this giant mirror, say hi to yourselves. So I'm starting out with my trusty BH Cosmetics number 11 and I'm going into this shade Profesh. I think I'd call this a grayish, I'm not really sure. I'm so bad at like, describing colors. This is gonna be our transition shade today. I feel like this is a great cool tone transition shade for my skin tone. A lot of times cool tone shades can make me look very washed out and this is not doing that. So I'm gonna take this round lime crime brush I'm going into the shade Mod right here. It's this very pretty berry tone. It's lighter berry toned. And that is going into the crease. Whoa. I feel like this brush is a little too dense to fully diffuse these edges with, so I'm just gonna go over them with the BH Cosmetics brush. So on that same Lime Crime brush, I'm going into No Filter and Drama. This is more of a purple toned berry shade, and this is just a darker berry shade. We're gonna use this to deepen up the look a little bit. And again, I'm just going to diffuse those edges a little bit more. So for my lid, I'm super drawn to this blue-brown shade of Trendy. And I can kind of just tell that this is going to be a finger shade. So I'm just going to swirl this on my index finger. Pop that onto my lid there. Who also remembers that like phase in makeup world where everyone had the MAC blue-brown pigment? I 
And then I'm gonna use this angled brush and we're gonna go back into mod and no filter together. And I'm gonna use those to line the other eye, under eye. And then uh, there's not really like a straight up shimmer in our eye highlight shade for my skin tone in here. So I'm actually gonna go into this palette from Pop Beauty. They sent me this. I have no clue how they got my address, but that was a really fun surprise. So this is their Twinkle Texture Palette. And I'm just gonna go into this shade right here. It's just a very light satin-ish shimmer shade. And I just have a little bit on this pointed Lime Crime brush. I'm really excited to play with this red glitter shade more during the holidays. Christmas eyeshadow tutorial anyone? So I'm into this palette. I think that the mattes blended super well. They did get a little bit powdery in the pan, but there was no fallout with the mattes on my eye. There was some fallout with the shimmer shade, but I've come to expect that with shimmers that look pretty on the eye, you're gonna have a little bit of fallout. I definitely did more of a dark, grungy fall look with this as you can see you can definitely get some very very nice neutral toned down looks out of this palette as well i'm very excited to play with this some more i think that you can never have too many mattes in your eyeshadow collection i always feel like i just never have the amount of mattes that i want to play with blendability wise that this is very similar to the anastasia beverly hills formula in terms of the mattes without the fallout and I don't think that it's as intensely pigmented. I think this is a lot more beginner friendly where you can really build this up on the eye. You're not going to be just dipping your brush in and have more pigment than you can really work with. Good choice mom. For my eyeliner I'm going to use the Tarte Double Take Eyeliner. Also a present from my mom. I don't know how she managed this but Tarte has my favorite eyeliner formula and my eyeliner from them was just drying up so this is super awesome this is very very black and very matte so i'm super into it love felt tip eyeliners and then the other end of this is a pencil liner so that's awesome I'm not gonna tight line with that today because I think that would be too much with that eye look that's really cool that that's on there too for blush I feel like this might be kind of a weird choice color wise but I'm gonna be using the elf beautifully bare cream blush this is four dollars I picked this up because I don't own any cream blushes and I've really been wanting to try one out this is nice and cheap so I'm going into this on an e.l.f. stipling brush. I feel like fingers are not the move for this. And this is nice and subtle and very radiant. I'm into it. I think this will also be very nice on like a no makeup makeup day when I don't want to wear foundation. It'll melt into the skin a lot nicer than a powder blush would. I'm going to do the teensiest bit of bronzer. I'm gonna use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and Bronzer on this Lime Crime Powder Brush. These brushes are so freaking soft. And I'm just like, I could stare at this all day. This is a very subtle amount of a bronzer. You guys are probably like, did you even put anything on? I did, I promise. And then I'm going to use this fan brush for my highlight today. I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter in Galactic. I wish they would make this a permanent shade because it is gorgeous. I'm going to do setting spray and mascara. I will be right back. All right, and to finish off this look, we've got two lip options. I have this Urban Decay Lip Mousse in Echo, and I have the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in Beat It. I think I'm gonna go with the Lime Crime Lipstick. I think this color is going to go really nicely with this whole fall grungy thing we've got going on. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. 
So I actually owned their liquid lipsticks forever ago. I have some trio and I forget what the colors were and I remember loving the formula. But when I used them up, I didn't repurchase because of who the CEO was at the time. So I'm really excited to try this again. This is a super pretty color. I'm looking on the monitor and it's pulling a lot more red on the monitor for some reason, but it's definitely like a very, very berry color in person. I feel like this is a super gorgeous color for fall. It definitely feels nice on the lips. It doesn't feel super drying or like it's gonna just crack and flake off like so many liquid lipsticks do. This is definitely as nice as I remember the formula being. So I'm glad that they haven't changed this over the years. So this is the final look. It is very, very fall. I'm very excited for it to be fall because I am basic AF. This was definitely a good round of first impressions. We did not have any misses in here, which is very rare, actually. That was a very good run through. Really loving how the whole look turned out. Loving the eyeshadow. I think my skin looks incredible right now. I'm definitely excited to play around with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and the Milk Makeup Setting Powder some more. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Thank you again to my mom for buying me a lot of these products. I know most of you guys watching probably don't know my mom, but she's actually super not into makeup. She didn't even wear makeup on her wedding day, so it's really sweet that she even stepped foot into Sephora and Riley Rose to pick out some products for me let alone took the time to make sure that they were cruelty free. It is super awesome. Um, let me know if you guys have tried any of these products down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.